tend to eat other meats anyway, especially when my homies are free. So, oh my bad. Uh. <laughs> Today, we embark on a journey to conquer this mountain, as well as talking about creatine. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about creatine along the way while we hike. So what exactly is creatine? Well, creatine is a naturally occurring substance in our bodies. Uh, we also happen to get it from proteins such as red meats and fish. However, we would have to eat an ungodly amount of red meats and fish to hit a sufficient level of creatine in our bodies. So that is why we supplement with it. So since we don't exactly absorb all of this creatine from the animals, we do supplement with this. We tend to eat other meats anyway, especially when my homies are free. So, oh my bad. Uh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we just started this incline and I'm already feeling it. I know you're feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> we had the two year anniversary yesterday since we started dating, so. We didn't exactly eat extremely healthy yesterday, so we're trying to uh, burn it off instead of hitting a regular gym session. We're trying to burn it off with a, a good old hike. <laughs> we're taking a little break right now. <laughs> so let's talk about the benefits of creatine. Well, many of us know that it increases muscle mass, performance, and strength. However, it also helps to decrease muscle fatigue as well as increase energy expenditure. Another thing about creatine is that it has a high bioavailability as well as is highly soluble. It's a lot more efficacious when we take it. Creatine also has the possibility of decreasing the frequency of cramps. Now, keep in mind that you do want to continue to get an efficacious amount of water in you. You want to have a high water intake to help prevent the frequency of these cramps. Creatine is also great for injury prevention. It can decrease the amount of damage you take in your bones, your tendons, your joints, your nerves, your ligaments, and your muscles. It also has anti-aging effects that help with your bone mineral density so you become a less brittle boy over time. There's also many cognitive effects to creatine. Certain studies have shown that there is maybe an increase in short-term memory as well as reasoning and intelligence. It also reduces mental fatigue, which is pretty insane because you're not only reaping physical benefits from creatine, but you are also reaping cognitive benefits as well. Whoa. Wow. 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 <laughs> you can technically take creatine at any point in the day. I personally tend to do it after my workouts. Some people tend to take creatine with caffeine, which may lower the efficacy of it. I recommend if you do take both of them, take your pre-workout or stimulant, whatever you use, uh, before your workout, and then take creatine after, so that way you can get the full effect from both of them. There's also this thing called a loading phase to creatine, which is typically taking at about 20 grams per day. Now this could be broken up into whether you take five grams four times a day, or 10 grams two times a day. Uh, however, this is just to get the effect into your body and running faster. My brother and I actually completely skipped this loading phase altogether. We just hopped straight to the maintenance phase because uh, we found out after like the first day when we were both were taking 20 grams, we found out that we went through basically a fourth of our container. We were gonna go through a whole entire part of our container before we even reached the maintenance phase and it was really just to save money. So just keep that in mind. So the loading phase helps bring this effect into your body sooner, but it is not necessary. Just keep in mind that if you do do the loading phase, then you will be running through your creatine a lot faster at first for those first five to seven days than you would if you just hop straight to maintenance. And that maintenance phase being anywhere between about three to five grams per day. Keep in mind that creatine does not impact your metabolism whatsoever. So if you can't just take the creatine and then just assume you're reaping the same benefits as someone who is exercising or working out. You need to do one of those things. You have to be active in order for these effects to take place. Really starting to feel it now. How you feel? <laughs> you can see how she feels. So basically creatine has some potential side effects as well. However, fret not, 
because these side effects are actually not a huge determining factor in whether you should take it or not. So some people suffer from gastrointestinal distress, aka GI distress, aka your stomach hurts. So part of the reason that this may be is because sometimes people just simply dry scoop the creatine. Uh, don't do this because you need the water to combine with the powder in order to create that stimulus or that effect. I know this is a huge trend right now with the whole dry scooping thing, but now you know that you need the water to combine with the powder in order to create the stimulus effect. Please stop dry scooping. So you could also get... <laughs> I'm hiding. You could also get liver or kidney issues, supposedly, from taking creatine. But this could be just be because since the water is stored in your muscles, you also need reg water to keep your regular body functions up and running as well. So you need to intake a lot more water than you normally do, not only because it stores in your muscles, but you also want to have a proper regulating body system in general. However, if you do have some sort of kidney disorder or anything that hinders your kidneys, uh, be sure to consult your physician or doctor first before hopping on creatine as this could impact your health overall to begin with. So be cautious if you do have some sort of kidney disorder. So here is the big question. Should you be taking it? Well, one of the things that, I, that bothered me the most before I got into any sort of supplement use was, first of all, will I still be considered natural? And second of all, will this have any long-term effect on my health in general, uh, such as anabolic steroids do? Creatine is one of, if not the most researched supplement in the entire industry. It has been proven to be safe time and time again. Really, you do not have to worry about any of these side effects really affecting you. As you can see, just a simple intake of more water or consulting your doctor or physician is a simple solution to these problems. And yes, you will still be considered natural at the end of the day if you take creatine because it is similar to saying, if I drink coffee or take a pre-workout or any sort of caffeine before my workout and it gives me a sort of boost, it's kind of like saying, well, you have you have caffeine, you're not natural. So creatine is sort of in that same boat. It is not an anabolic steroid. It just simply helps with your performance. Athletes that tend to reap the most effect from creatine are these more explosive athletes, athletes that use their fast twitch muscle fibers. This could be strength or sprint training sort of athletics. So these kind of athletes uh, can take the most advantage of creatine. However, this does not mean that it won't affect endurance-based athletes. So what about girls? Should girls be taking creatine? Well, yeah, why not? Sure you will reap all the same benefits that males do as well. Just keep in mind, you may experience just a little bit of bloat at first just because the amount of water you're taking in. However, remember that once again, the water is being stored in your muscles. Even then, you just experience a little bit of bloat, the water is stored in your muscles, and you might see a one to two pound increase in the scale. However, this does not mean that you are gaining fat. You gained a little bit of water weight, and that's not really a big deal. Over time, you'll convert it to muscle. Don't think that it's hurting you to begin with. I promise you that if you have a reasonable diet that best suits your goals, you are exercising and working out, and you are taking creatine, you are well on the right track you'll be okay regardless of what the scale says. And this not only goes for women, but for men as well. Just anybody in general. If you are new to the channel, please drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Rick and Marty. So there you go. Creatine is safe. You should be taking it unless you have kidney issues. Consult your physician or doctor first if need be. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Drop a like down below. Comment. Do you take creatine already? Have you noticed any of these weird side effects? Have you noticed any of the benefits? Whether it be physical or cognitive. Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Till next time, guys. Peace. Peace.